Hey nerds, listen up, we're about to solve this problem. A right angled isosceles triangle is inscribed in a semicircle of radius seven centimeters. I just drew a circle here. Uh, radius seven centimeters also means diameter 14 centimeters, right? Um, and I drew an isosceles triangle here inscribed um, in this semicircle. And you may be asking, how do you know this is a 45, 45, 90? Well, inscribed angles are always one half of the intercepted arc. And obviously this intercepted arc here is 180 degrees because it's a semicircle. So half of 180 is 90. So this is a, oh, they told us it's a right angled. Well, how about that? Anyway, 45, 45, 90, we know special triangles, one, one, root two. To get from this side to the hypotenuse, we multiplied by root two. But if we have the hypotenuse, we need to move backwards to a leg, we would divide by root two. Hence, if the hypotenuse is 14, we'll do 14 over root two, which I know is rude to leave a radical in the denominator, but I know I'm about to multiply these things together, so I don't really care. We'll figure it out before the end. Um, so 14 root two uh, over root two, 14 over root two for these two legs. So we have all the dimensions that we need here. Uh, an area is pi r squared of a circle. So semicircle is half of that, half pi r squared. So if we just plug in, you know, to find the, the semicircle area, this is half of pi radius is seven squared is 49. You know, so 49 pi over two, or that's approximately, if you type it into a calculator, uh, looks like 76.97 centimeters. And the triangle area, half base times height. So we'll call this a base and this a height. Because I don't feel like doing all this business right here. So half base times height is half base times height. And this is why I didn't worry about rationalizing my denominators because I know that root two times root two is just gonna be two. So 14 over two is seven, 14 over this two is seven, seven times seven is gonna be 49. <gasps> this is area, that should be square centimeters. 49 square centimeters, or you can just type this in the calculator, you'll get 49 square centimeters. Anyway, we want to find the area outside the triangle, but inside the semicircle. So this shaded area here, this here, all that is going to be the big area minus the small area. So if we do 76.97 minus 49, we should come up on an area of 27.97. 97 or approximately 28 square centimeters. Boom.